results. And here we go. It is Neon taking the pole position for tonight's Austrian Grand Prix with just two rounds to go. The Campo in P2. Then you've got Harlem. Will they go? And away we all go. That's a pretty good start by the Campo right there. Keeping on the pressure, losing the red just a little bit. Oh, that's very That close. is Jim Wong. Uh, not Jim Wong. That is Davey Lee. Uh, mix them up. Losing the rear, going into the wall, and that's a little bit of And that is a good start by Neon. Getting, well, getting away from all the trouble right there. Thomas Jensen, with a little bit of a dive right there on Will Gibson. Is he going to get past? Oh, that's contact, and they're go both going to go into the wall. Yeah, the gap's quite big. The Campos, more or less still in reach of Harlem. It almost looks like it stopped raining, but there it is. Uh, raining, is. but there it is. Uh, it is Luke Smith actually getting a move on and trying to attack for Chemusel right here into turn number six. He has got the inside line and Fraser has to oh, give up that piece, uh, P5. And uh, he's probably advised to just keep behind him as uh, that's we Salix Salabon losing the rear as well. Pointing the wrong way on circuit. Odds are not quite the way that he would have liked. Joshua's blinking light of death. Up the inside he goes, indeed. Big lock up, though. Still gets the corner. He's really slow. He's retired from oh. the session. Oh, is it? Oh, yep, yeah, he's in the gravel. Given up. His car looked fine. Oh, not it's... meeting the traction. And it's a full course caution. Yeah. Ooh. So this is, a, this is a cheap pit stop now, potentially. And look at that. He's gone straight past Campio. Oh, no. Luke's having none of it, though. That was a little bit of ghosting. Has pulled the trigger. Watch him, you sell though. He is defending. Oh, that's a little bit of contact between him and Merkin. But he's got the position. He's still P3. That position with the Campo on new task right behind him. Oh, so much later on the brakes. Luke Smith now as well. And there you can see the traction difference. Just a little bit between the camper and Fort Chemisel. Going to P4 right here. He has a little bit of a dive bomb right there. Gets forced onto the curb. Great racing by the two drivers. Little bit of contact. Little bit of con uh, tire banging. And that is around the outside. Can he make it stick though? It sure does look like it. But Forge having the nose ahead now as well. That is straight action. Trying around the outside of Joshua. That's not going to happen quite so easily. Whilst Luke Smith is also trying it. On the camp out, this is the battle for the podium, of course. Um, to those four laps old tiles, and that is Merkin. A little bit of a mistake there in the wall. That ah, is a yellow sa uh, yellow flag in sector three. Doesn't look like a safety I don't know if they might have to bring him in for unsafe drive up release. <laughs> anyway. That's... You know what? On my screen, he doesn't even have oh, a head. He's got tapped. Now he's got a head again after he got tapped. <laughs> and uh, the I guess the, uh, the traction letting him down by just a little bit. Another dive around the outside. Another switch back. Is he going to make it sick this time? There is the spray. Instant spray. And he has got the overspeed now into turn outside, six. Getting hung out to dry by Joshua there. Just does get the throttle down in time. Now goes a little bit too deep into turn seven as well. Sorry to cut you off there, P8. And he will let David Lee, his teammate, through, but he's kept it out of the barriers, kept it out of the fence. Live to see another day. That's going to be a spicy battle coming up as well between them two. Better exit. Did he get it this time? Very twitchy rear by the Mercedes ahead. He's deploying all, of, all his ERS that he has. Tries to squeeze Joshua onto the apex. He's himself. He's got the inside line now. Is he going to go for a lunge? He does. That's contact. That's a camper almost spun. And again, contact between Joshua and, and the again, camper. contact between Joshua and the camper. And Thomas Jensen is this time. One who is profiting from that as Merkin has lost the rear and causes another safety car. What's the Red Bulls going to do? Oh, yes. Harlem and Luke Smith. No reaction. Yeah, by so them. this is the interesting part now. They've just lost these positions completely and they will switch on to the dry tyres. He's on the drives. Oh, he's serving a penalty. And that's a five second oh. for Thomas. That oh. is going to be Fodge absolutely gone. Going to P7, as you said. 
and yeah, that is just like taking candy from a baby overtaken with Alex Albon right there. Jim Wong basically jumping out of the way already as well with Alex. Not letting that invitation go on. Hey, David Lee and Joshua, here it is. Yes, we'll go to that. Ooh, Joshua's been struggling right now with that traction, isn't it? I guess because he's got 27 laps of it done. His tires are about 70% in the rears, so oh, they're no. pretty much... And look at the exit drip that Luke Smith is getting. And that is another easy overtake now for Luke Smith, but he had to work for it the past 12 or 13 laps. On the inters and... to the end. Now that's a Thomas Jensen. Um, somehow in the grass. Um, moving very slowly. Getting disqualified from the session. Uh, probably for standing. Getting back past Luke Smith. So they're just having a little bit of a fun battle. And that is Thomas Jensen just completely disqualified from the session. At least he won't be in the way at the next pit stop. Well, they had, so they can't do that. It looks like it's going to be Harlem going in. Oh, no, I'm not quite saying he's a Luke little Smith bit. is staying out. Luke Smith Luke. is staying out. And yeah. that is him surely giving up the lead to Harlem because he is going on to those hands. PPR. Oh, the camp are going very, very deep. They really holding back just a little bit there of six seconds. So I actually got two of them. It's very easy to do around here in uh, Austria. Very many opportunities of uh, track extending. And uh, that was that was good English. Very many good wrong, English. Couldn't it? it could have been tucked up behind the rest of that field there. Now that is a huge battle now between David Lee and Jim Wong right here. Is David Lee going to try a little bit of a dive bomb on Jim Wong? Oh, he, he goes after second DRS zone right ahead of him. He now needs to pull the trigger and he goes for it immediately on the ERS on the DRS. And that is the Red Bulls, Red Bulls running. running side by side into turn three up on the top of the hill. And the Campo also going for a little bit of a dive on Harlem, but he is having absolutely none of Is that going to allow Campio through? Yes, it will. No, side by side there with Harlem. So that's uh, Christian Horner's not a happy camper right now, because he didn't want to see to both of his Red Bulls. Oh, great strategy! That was Luke Smith boxing in Harlem, compromising his line. He's doing it again. That is the police maneuver right Ooh, there. Just yeah. boxing them in the camper, almost losing a rail right there. And now it's clear. Uh, that is probably just what Sandy Baggy wanted to hear right here, as it is going out to the second last lap of the GP lap 35 Contact. out of 36 and that is Davy Lee punching on an absolute run right here uh, is he gonna go into into the lead of the Grand Prix no he that can't be not going to be happy about that Harlem trying it around the outside a little bit of a lock up on the inside tire but it is Davy Lee with the better exit a little bit of a coming together for them better exit a little bit of a coming together for them Absolutely fantastic, wow, isn't that it? Is a He's pulled a spy maneuver, Mr. Bond in the Aston Martin, that's for sure. Now he needs to just hit that slick. Oh, that's a huge crash behind them between the camper and Joshua. P5 and P6 coming together. Off, has it? Now it's backfired for him. Now they're running in P2 and P3, and this is it. This is Harlem's last chance. Perhaps even Luke can get this one done. Where's David Lee going to park it? Oh no, he could lose two here. Go through with that. Oh, he is going with a huge dive bomb and pays the absolute price of that spinning out and from hero to zero in absolute zero in absolutely the fraction of a second. As it is now Weasel in the spotlight trying to get a podium in tier one. Little bit of contact with the camper right here. And it is turn eight. It's got to decide it all. No, it is at the moment if you can pull it through. Luke Smith, though, at the front as well, trying to go for a move on his teammate. And not quite enough right there on the DRS. And I think Harlem had a little bit. And he needed yeah, to hold up more of those trophies. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll check who actually won right now before the lobby actually closes. So is these are in P3. The Campo in P4, Piana in P5, and you've got uh, David Lee for Champion Soul, Jim Wong, Thomas Jensen, Merkin, Will Gibson, and Neon. And just to confirm once again, right here on the incidents page, there has not been a penalty.